Hello again. This is William at Reeves Reef, and we're looking at the Reeves Reef fish only quarantine tank, <coughs> hospital tank. Um, it's where I have a separate system just for quarantining fish. Uh, this is where their home's going to be for a couple weeks, and we're looking at this here flame angel, uh, beautiful specimen. Um, it occurred to me that uh, people might want a flame angel. They're reasonably reef safe, maybe with caution, but I have clients that have flame angels and uh, they do really well. I haven't seen any picking at coral or whatever. However, certain butterfly fish, uh, that's not the case. So uh, this being a reasonably reef safe angel fish and a beautiful one at that. Uh, I could be talked into doing a fish order. Um, some people may not want me to quarantine their fish if they're able to quarantine their own and I can do that too. Generally uh, the way it works you could order even if you wanted uh, if you have more than one tank if you have powder brown, powder brown tanks if you want them. Um, this one is actually a medium powder brown tank which is uh, quite interesting and this is um, a small medium powder brown tank. Powder blue is medium Powder brown tang is small medium. So the wholesaler I go with has uh, basically five standard size categories and they go from small, small, medium, medium, large, medium, and large. And then uh, on occasion they'll have like show or XX, meaning it's probably a full adult and a large species perhaps, just to indicate that it's definitely Definitely uh, a large uh, fish. So uh, sometimes they don't have all sizes available of certain species, but when they have species available, they often have uh, a size range between small, medium, large, or small, medium, medium, and large, or whatever. So um, just like the I uh, used to have a self in tang inside in a nano tank when I got it. Uh, it was literally the only self in tang they had. I said, you know what? I have a client that wants one, send it to me. Well, I neglected to ask, hey, how big is it? And it was a small. So it was the size of like a silver dollar, perhaps. Uh, fins included. So it was tiny. It's like, it was uh, about the size of that that maroon clown right there. And um, anyway, he doubled in size over a couple of months and then someone that had set up a uh, several tanks in their home, had, you know, didn't have a tang in the tank and uh, self and tang love hair algae and they, they just pick it to death. Um, and he bought it. So he's, he's got so many years of a beautiful self and tang to enjoy when you buy your fish so tiny. And uh, not every species of tang can be bought so small because some species get a foot and a half. And when you buy them so small, they're just too tiny. They require special care. A lot of times they're, they don't even eat vegetation yet. They're, you know, pelagic feeders and they'll, they'll eat stuff right out of the water column, some species of tangs, until they get much larger and start grazing. But at any rate, um, bicolor fox face right there that um looks like he has stabbed someone at one point one of his uh dorsal fin spines is um looks damaged and that's that white spot that you're seeing there i've checked that out i think he's uh stabbed someone at one point being as large as he is and it damaged that spine but other than that he's in immaculate shape it's a, this is almost the only fox face they regularly have is these bicolor fox faces out of Fiji. And that one is a large, so it's um, it's a pretty good size. And uh, a beautiful fish, I mean, it's like a one-third yellow, has white cheeks, a black face, and kind of a dark brown kind of body, sometimes black. Uh, and at night it does go camouflage. So it's funny because the yellow part doesn't go camouflage. 
the rest of him does. So he gets that cami pattern at night and he puts himself somewhere in your rock work and hangs out and sleeps. So pretty neat. But any of these fish, I mean, you know, I'm interested in seeing your wish list. I could be talked into doing another fish order uh, sooner than later. And especially, especially if um, you can quarantine your own fish. Uh, that's a great deal. Typically, I get these fish in. I order them, say, on Monday. I'll get them on Tuesday by 1030. I get the box open, make sure there's no, no damage or dead fish. Take care of my documentation. And uh, you could walk out of there with your fish by 1045. And then you can get it home and quarantine it. And um, generally these fish are boxed in the afternoon, the day prior. So, so before 24 hours has even lapsed, you could have your fish uh, acclimated and in quarantine in your own system. And, uh, you know, that's, that's all good stuff. Look at these guys. They, they just want to test each other. I imagine that, um, this behavior could get worse over time, but you know, it's a quarantine tank. I will be keeping them well fed. I have not even fed them vegetation yet. They've actually been grazing on the algae that was in this tank. There's an earlier video on, I think, day one or two. This is day three. And uh, the water is medicated. It may look a little green to some of you because of that. And I use um, Rally Pro. Um, it's a great product. It uh, takes care of everything but ick, essentially. Um, and these fish don't appear to have ick. And this tank was, you know, there's no substrate in here. Um, only reason I even run a light on this tank is because I want algae to grow on this rubble that's on the bottom and on the sides and there's a couple snails in there but uh, I want a little bit of algae to grow because when I get tangs in they have uh, something to kind of pick at and uh, I remove excess algae on occasion but uh, anyway, Rally Pro, good for anything. It's safe for your display tank even. You just can't run activated carbon and stuff like that type of filtration. And uh, safe for invertebrates, crustaceans, you know, your snails, uh, even fish that are sensitive to copper because it does not have copper in it. So overall, a good product. I'd recommend to anyone that, you know, finds themselves with a problem, especially in a nano tank because uh, it doesn't require much product to dose a small, small tank. And this tank right here is probably sitting at about 35, 40, uh, gallons. And, uh, it's about a 50 gallon tank and I don't fill it up all the way because, uh, there's no need to keep a fish only tank completely full. Really? Uh, everything works. I have a, a small canister full of, um, ceramic media for biofiltration um, there's a chiller on this tank because it sits in a uh, really warm location in my in my home business and um, you know there's a aerating stone because that's uh, important to put in a, a tank like this that has you know a small volume high capacity so I want to make sure that there's no oxygen depletion for any reason. But overall, yeah, I could be talked into a fish order soon. I'm motivated to get you what you need. So send me your wish list. Uh, there should be a floating uh, email address that you can send all your wish list to. And I will get back with you via email. It's the easiest way I can think. Um, you know, and that way... Um, uh, my quotes, by the way, be good for 30 days. So if I quote your price, I'm pretty sure I can honor that for 30 days. I mean, unless for some strange reason, uh, blue green chromis turn into $20 fish overnight. Obviously, I'm not going to order you 20 blue green chromis that are now $20. That would be just ridiculous and honor a price of, you know, whatever they cost. 
so blue green chrome it shouldn't be twenty dollars each is what i'm saying i'm just just saying anyway it's it's been a pleasure for me here at Reese reef to show you um this quarantine display tank i'm trying to be open honest transparent um you know at some point as i gain more confidence in running quarantine cycles and keeping these fish uh, some species are more challenging than others to keep uh, alive when they're coming from the wild like all these fish are except for these clowns they've been captive bred and the dotty backs that i have are captive bred but they're a different wholesaler entirely um sometimes uh, the wholesaler I get these fish from also has other captive bred fish. Like currently they've got captive bred seahorses. They've got captive bred, uh, what are they? Um, oh, captive bred hippo tanks. So yeah, um, they have those and they have wild hippo tanks. So if you want specifically one or the other, uh, you could, you could get that. The price is not that much different. I believe the captive bread are a little more expensive and the sizes are much narrower. You can only get like a certain size of the captive bread hippo tangs. And I really wish they would get yellow tangs back in stock. But like I said, uh, they don't often get the other three types of fox face. Um, but they do get rabbit fish. So they get regular rabbit fish. They get orange spotted ones and all kinds of funky looking colored ones even a gold one but they're the uh, more flat faced looking rabbit fish which some people may not like um, I don't have any of, and I may order some eventually but uh, they also stock usually have in stock um, one of the only reef safe trigger fish that's out there and it's called a uh, it's called a uh, blue jaw trigger fish uh, you can look it up pretty reef safe the males are pretty colorful has yellow on them uh, real beautiful fish and uh, sometimes they only have males and other times they have females as well it's recommended that you keep a male and a female um, so you can keep two that way and uh, the only thing I can say about them is that they are jumpers I know it sounds weird but that trigger fish uh, can jump clean out of your fish tank. So some kind of mesh on top of your tank would be better than a glass cover. But if you have glass covers, I mean, that would work too. But anyway, it's a pleasure to uh, show you this quarantine tank. Um, in a video I posted previously, it was way overgrown with algae. And now it almost kind of looks trimmed. And I imagine this over the next week or several weeks, in fact, uh, should get better and better. The fish will, you know, eat, <laughs> pick at this algae as they constantly are doing. Powder Brown was just there picking at some algae before he was ousted from his spot by those other compatriots of his there. But the Fowleri tang is just looking beautiful. And I assume, that, and this is a juvenile, this Fowleri tang is one of the larger species, gets close to a foot foot long in captivity in the wild a little bigger but beautiful fish some of the pictures online uh, probably show a more mature specimen but uh, a beautiful fish and, and by no means not very common I assume in the hobby based on its uh, price so interesting uh, to see what happens here hopefully I can get it into a, a service clients tank where I can actually see it more regularly because uh, sometimes when <laughs> these fish get sold to a private client that I don't do maintenance for, I don't really get to see them anymore. But that's okay as long as they make it to a good home. But at any rate, um, look forward to seeing your wish lists. So shoot me an email and um, I'm signing out from here at uh, Reeves Reef. And uh, until next time, refund.